I've just got in from work and I thought I'm going to pop out here and have a look at these seedlings and the peas, some of the peas are up and some of my leeks are coming up so now I really am quite excited about the spring in my summer house at the moment the sun's out which is really nice and I've got some seeds that I'm going to be sowing in a minute so the first ones that I want to sow are my sweet corn I've managed to get swift this year which is what I've always grown in the past and been really successful with last year I couldn't get it um, the variety I had last year was um, incredible but I wasn't very successful but I think there was a multitude of reasons why that was but I'm going back to Swift so we'll see how that does um, and again a very difficult year last year none of my um, beans were very successful which is really surprising because um, beans generally are really really easy to grow and um, prolific but it was a it was a washout last year unfortunately so instead of saving my seed from last year I have bought completely new stock um, and we'll start from scratch and see how we get on so I've gone back to my favorite runner bean which is the Scarlet Emperor um, it says they're reliable early crops with large tasty beans and I can say that's definitely true my other favourite is my climbing French bean, the Cobra. I grow this every year, have fantastic results, except for last year. Bizarre. Climbing French bean, I grew that for the first time, I think two summers ago, and the first year I grew it was absolutely wonderful. Loved them. I was so excited to be growing it again last year, but oh, it's just nothing germinated. It was just awful. I think I did about three or four sowings and nothing so um, I don't really know why the seed was so poor last year but I wonder whether it was something to do with the extreme heat we'd had the previous summer so I have no idea so we're going to try that again and then my zucchini or courgette as we call it in the UK um, and try that again because I didn't have any last year at all which is really disappointing because I love my courgettes so I'm gonna sit back as usual and have my cup of coffee and then um, I'll take you in the greenhouse and we'll start sowing so the first I'm going to sow is this sweet corn this is the swift and um, I think probably out of all the vegetables that I grow this is my most favorite so I'm just going to fill my pots up with compost, get rid of any lumps, just press it down lightly. I generally grow about 18 plants. 18 containers and that's usually enough for me and on a good year you'll get about three cobs per plant 
so that's a pretty good return for um, a small space so that's all my pots I'll show you the seeds as I explained before rule of thumb you generally plant seeds about twice the depth of their size and as long as it's warm enough in here you'll probably start to see some shoots maybe in two weeks I'm guessing and they'll look like a tiny little blade of grass to start with and it's amazing from that tiny seed what a large plant you end up with I've had them grow up to more than about six foot tall big strong plants So it's the marvel of nature. So I'm going to cover them over now. And then give them a good soak. And we'll see how they do. And by August, you can actually start harvesting them. August, September, and they will go out very end of May, beginning of June, because um, the south of England is warmer than other other parts of the country. So the more south you go, the earlier you can put them out. one thing you want to get in the habit of doing as well is labelling everything that you sow next one is the Scarlet Emperor runner bee Uh, I just love how beautiful the beans are, really lovely, mottled. So, again, about twice the depth of the size of the bean. Push them right into the soil. Now, I will sow six beans. Because I've only got a small area and I'm going to be sowing other beans so that should produce plenty for me and you do get to a point where you end up with a bit of a glut so Again, I'll give these all a good soak when I'm done. We're now going to do the French Kylin and Cobra. So those beans. Just dropped. Oh, there it is. Put them in the soil. And if I haven't already said, um, this is the John Innes seed sowing compost and it's very sandy and light. I don't believe it has an awful lot of nutrition in it, it's just to get the plants started. So this is Golden Gate, they are the climbing French bean, the ones that I sowed for the first time two years ago and absolutely loved them, they are just so delicious. 
um, but then was really disappointed when they didn't grow at all last year. So we're going to try again. We've got fresh seed and I've got my clean pots, which I've just gone and washed. Um, something that I should practice what I preach. You need to keep your pots clean. So when you've finished with them each season, give them all a good, good wash. And that way you don't you don't run the risk of spreading any um, disease. I need a, a course on how to open a seed packet because this does not want to open. These are going to go everywhere. Good Lord. How difficult should this be? <laughs> there we go. Right, these beans. Oh, some of these are broken. That's not good. Right, so this is the Golden Gate. Now let's just fill my pots up. put them so deep because I'm actually going to top that up with some more compost which will increase the depth. Right, my next job is to sow my courgettes. Now I only really need two plants, that's absolutely sufficient for me because when they get going um, you you definitely get a glut of these, you can have too many unfortunately. You can freeze them, they're okay for soups if you freeze them but they just go mushy when you defrost them so they're not really um, ideal I would say for freezing, it's better just to eat them fresh from the plant. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sow three. So I only need two plants, but I will sow three seeds um, and then I will pick the two strongest plants. Um, but it's always a good idea with um, when you're sowing to sow a few extra so that you can pick the best. But then if you, you know, if you're successful with them, you can always give them to neighbours and friends. So this is the courgette seed and it's sort of almost flat so when you sow it without dropping it sow it on its side don't sow it flat like that because there's a chance it's going to rot so to give it the best chance sow it on its side You can see that it's on its side. Cover it up, and I've got some labels already.
not long been in from work and the leeks and peas are coming on nicely. This is some of the seeds I did the other day. I've just sown some cucumbers, some sturgeons, two types of lettuce, got summer leaves and Oloroso. Sweet corn I sowed and my potatoes are chitting. <laughs> 